Thompson wins it in overtime. Brady can jump, breakaway shoots, scores! Welcome to Sens Talk, my name is Brandon and I am your host. Long time no see, what, it's been like two hours? I apologize for interrupting your Canada Day again. By the way, happy Canada Day. Um, but I'm telling you right now, this is for good reason. Today, the Ottawa Sanders have made a massive splash and might have found the goalie of the future, definitely their starter potentially, for the next half decade as they have signed Finnish goaltender Jonas Corposalo to a five-year, $4 million deal, which includes a 10-team no-trade clause for each of the five years. I'll just say right now, I saw a lot of mixed reviews on Twitter, on Facebook, everywhere, you know, with my friends as well that are Sens fans. A lot of mixed reviews. I'm going to say this right now. I love Jonas Corposalo. I've always been a big fan of his. I'm really excited to see him in Ottawa. I'm excited to tell you why I'm excited to see him in Ottawa in this video. There's a lot of intangibles about this player that I truly, truly love. But more importantly, Ottawa today might have just found the goaltender they've long coveted, a true number one starter. Now look. I know what you're probably thinking, Brandon, Corpus Solo has never been a for sure number one goaltender of the NHL. That's frankly not true. It's kind of true. It's kind of not true. It's a bit of a white lie. Look, Corpus Solo has never been the clear cut number one goaltender other than last year with LA, which by the way, he led them to the playoffs. Just saying, not a small accomplishment. That's a big one right there. He led the LA Kings to the playoffs as their starter. But more importantly, with Columbus, for example, he split starts with Elvis Merz Lincoln, sure. But he also, more often than not, was the lead starter. He was the 1A, not the 1B. He got a lot of those starts with Columbus, led them to the playoffs, played like nine games in the playoffs, which we'll talk about later in this video as well, with Columbus Blue Jackets during his time there. He was by far, in my opinion, the number one goaltender in Columbus, or at least the 1A. So to say that he was never a true number one goaltender, it's a bit of a white lie, because sure, technically, he was never the clear-cut number one, making 60 starts or so, but he was by far with LA, and for most parts with Columbus, the 1A, a guy that was seen as the starter that would be in the playoffs, for example, representing his team in the crease, okay? This is the type of guy that can absolutely start between 40 and 50 games. He's done it multiple times with Columbus. He did it with LA, leading them to the playoffs as well. Now look, technically, once again, just trying to end my little rant here, I understand he's not a technical starter. He hasn't had a season where he started 60 plus games. I understand that. But you're not looking for that in the NHL right now, especially with Anton Forsberg. You're looking for a goaltender that can start 40, 50 games, work in a tandem with another goaltender, give you you know, good starts, give you a chance to win every single night, and give you a chance to make the playoffs. Corpusalo did that with the LA Kings, he did that with Columbus, and there's no reason to believe he will not do that with Ottawa. Now look, I've seen a lot of people on Twitter today, when I could, Elon Musk, fix Twitter, my man. What is going on with this rate limit BS? It's ridiculous. Fix it. Twitter is supposed to be uh, an app. You're supposed to be able to use it. You can't even use the app right now. It's absolutely insane what's happening there. But in between times Twitter was working and not working for me, I saw a lot of people having mixed reviews on the signing. And look, I get it in a way. Five years might seem like a lot. And especially with the injury history that Jonas Corposalo has, I understand why some people are like, ooh, five years is a bit much. But for a bit more term, instead of three, four years, you're giving him five years, you're getting a far better cap hit and that is more important than anything for the Ottawa Sanders especially right now with the uncertainty in the cap situation with Alex Debrinkat for one but as well with Shane Pinto and other signings potentially as well so because of that you know signing for four years and giving him an extra year or two I'm very okay with that because at the end of the day you're signing a goaltender for four million dollars who might be your starter I don't know about you uh, many goaltenders in the National Hockey League that are the starting goaltender, more often than not, are making far more than $4 million. So right there, if Corpus Allo works out, becomes the number one goaltender and stays healthy, all things that I think he can do, don't mind the thunder, by the way, I'm okay. But if you heard that, by the way, it's ooh, pretty loud. Um, but what I was saying, basically, yeah, look, with Corpus Allo, he's a goaltender that... If everything goes right, and we haven't seen a reason why it won't go right, once again, he did very well with LA last year, this is going to be a very good, valuable contract. Once again, if he's your starting goaltender, making $4 million a year, that is fantastic. But once again, there's a bit of risk as well. Corpus Allo has that entry history. He might not work out. That is always possible. Another reason Corpus Allo definitely commanded five years instead of three or four is there's a couple of other teams involved in the sweepstakes for Corpus Allo. And Freddie Anderson, Ronta, Varlamov, the goalie market was becoming thin like within the first hour of free agency. 
Ottawa had to get this done. There was really no other options out there. So once again, Ottawa might have been a little desperate too, which is why they were more lenient on giving them an extra term. But at the same time, once again, the trade-off of that is a lower cap hit. So I think this is a win-win for Corpus Allo and for the Ottawa Senators. Because once again, there's not many starters out there making $4 million or less. So the best case is you get an incredibly team-friendly contract for your starter. Worst case is Corpus Allo is a solid 1A, 1B option like he was in Columbus, who splits duties with Forsberg and makes a bit too much as the 1A, 1B type of goaltender. But with the cap hit going up in the next couple of years as well, and expected to go up in a big way, this contract I think will only get better with time. Of course, assuming Corpus Allo stays healthy. Now look, Corpus Allo is only 29, and that is incredibly young for goaltenders. Goaltenders often break out into the National Hockey League by 24, 25, 26. So if you're 29, you're about to hit your prime. Goaltender's prime is usually between 28 to 33, 34. So we're getting the best years of Corpus Allo's NHL career potentially here as well. That's something to keep in mind as well. But more importantly, at 29 years old, there's still room to grow. Remember, he's only played 200 plus games, not 3, 4, 5, 600. He's not a longtime veteran. He's an established NHLer with some good experience, but he of course still has some room to grow. As Pierre Dorian even mentioned this in his press conference like less than an hour ago, that they see a lot of room for growth in Corpus Allo's game as well. So it's not like you're getting Corpus Allo and just going to get what you get. With Corpus Allo, you're getting something that you expect to be good, but it could even be better since he's a bit younger and still has room to grow. But as well, playing over 200 games in the National Hockey League, that gives you the necessary experience for a heightened workload for a starter type position. So that gives me confidence as well. But here's the most important thing before I get to his numbers. He and Forsberg, you know, Corpus Allo and Anton Forsberg are also longtime buddies. They won the Calder Trophy together in the AHL, the championship trophy with the Cleveland Monsters back in 2016. Having two goaltenders that are good friends is a great benefit for the team. The two will be there for one another and will help each other out through the tough moments. Of course, there's going to be tough moments. That's sports. That's life. That's professional hockey. That's how it goes. So having a friend that's got your back especially if you're struggling in the crease, will be huge for the confidence of Forsberg and, of course, for Corpus Allo. And as well, look, you want it to be light. You don't want tension. So having two friends there will make it great as well. And it will be easy for the two to get along and to work with one another. Now, in terms of Corpus Allo's numbers, he put up great numbers with the Los Angeles Kings last year in 11 games after getting traded to them. He put up a 921 save percentage and a 2.13 goals against average. And overall, in 2023, between Columbus and LA throughout the regular season, he had an 18-14-4 record with a 914 save percentage and a 2.87 goals against average with a shutout which are very solid numbers that's above league average that's fantastic and that is much better than what Ottawa was getting last year so once again if you're worried about Corpus Allo not being able to perform for Ottawa and this might be another Matt Murray or Cam Talbot type situation those numbers are better than any goaltender Ottawa's had in at least the last half decade okay I'm not gonna lie with you Corpus Allo put up some of those numbers on a brutal Columbus Blue Jackets team and a 9-11 save percentage on a terrible Blue Jackets team that was far worse defensively than the Ottawa Senators so if you're worried about him not being able to perform don't worry about it whatsoever now his entire NHL career is a 904 save percentage and a 3.01 goals against average in 221 games in the National Hockey League with four shutouts as well so overall I think the numbers are highly encouraging he put up solid numbers especially on let's just be honest at best a mediocre Columbus Blue Jackets team throughout his entire NHL career there and last year on a brutal team put up very good numbers above league average numbers and then with LA even more above league average and led them to the playoffs so the guy like I've already said he's 29 he has the prime years of his career on the way he hasn't hit them yet so Ottawa's a lot of great hockey left in Jonas Corpus Allo as well but Corpus Allo as a goaltender in general he's incredibly flexible and athletic look at your screen right now he makes some huge stops often lunging out of his crease to make these remarkable stops he's effective at squaring up to the shooter but his lateral movement in the crease makes it even more difficult for shooters to get a good shot past him as long as Corpus Allo can stay healthy he has all the tools to be an effective and solid starter for the Ottawa Senators. So with that, let me know what you think in the comment section down below about Corpus Solo. I think this is a great signing. Once again, yeah, five years, a bit too much. It's a bit of a concern. Wow, that's a bit of a long contract. But once again, at $4 million, you're getting a cost-effective AAV at that. But most importantly, worst case, it doesn't work out. $4 million, there's backups in the NHL making that much. It's not a big deal. And with the cap going up, 
this should even make it even more valuable. So I'm not too concerned about the term and the AAV is just right. And once again, Ottawa really needed to get a goaltender. There wasn't many other options. Corpusala was getting offers from other teams. Sometimes you have to give a bit more to beat out other teams. That's what happened. I'm okay with it and I'm excited to see him play. So welcome to Ottawa, Jonas Corpusalo. Now before I wrap up this video, just one quick thing. Uh, Ottawa today made three minor signings as well for the Belleville Senators. They re-signed Rourke Chardier uh, to a one-year two-way contract. $775,000 in the NHL, $300,000 in the AHL. He had some NHL experience with the Ottawa Senators last year as well. Very good player for the Belleville Senators. One of their leading scorers. Great to have him back. Josh Curry, another forward from the Pittsburgh Penguins, $775,000 in the NHL. 275 in the AHL. And Boko Amama is another player the Ottawa Senators have signed from the Arizona Coyotes. $775,000 in the National Hockey League. $325,000 in the AHL. Boko is another player that's played in the National Hockey League. All three have played NHL minutes within the last couple of years. And that's good because look, you can never have enough depth. These are some solid AHL veterans to help out the Belleville Senators, which is so important. You want your prospects to win before making the jump to the National Hockey League. And these players can absolutely help the Belleville Senators continue to score more goals, but as well get more wins. Now, like I've already mentioned, all three of these players have played NHL minutes too. So we could potentially see them briefly for a game or two as an emergency call-up. It's definitely possible, um, but we'll see. Once again, it never hurts to have depth. Worst case, they just help out the guys in Belleville and help the Belleville Sens and the prospects win, make the playoffs and perform well down there. And best case, they come up to Ottawa for a game or two and fill in if necessary. Uh, so welcome to Ottawa, Rourke, Josh and Boko, and of course, Jonas Corposalo. So besides that, thank you all for watching. And look, I'll just leave it with this. Ottawa desperately needs to sign bottom six wingers. Daniel Sprung's off the board. Nola Chari's off the board. Connor Brown's off the board. A lot of players are off the board right now. Ottawa has to make a move within the next 48 hours or so because they desperately need some depth in the bottom six. As well, Travis Hamnick might be re-signed by Ottawa. They're kind of waiting to see what happens with Alex DeBrincat because there's some cap uh, implications on that. So we'll stay tuned for that. Of course, we'll have updates here if that happens. But that's the latest we know. Hamnick might re-sign with Ottawa. The players I just mentioned, of course, have already re-signed or signed with Ottawa. But most importantly... Alex the breakout, we'll see what happens with that. And Ottawa better bring in some bottom six forwards. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below as usual. Let me know who you want Ottawa to bring in. And I'll see you very soon. Go Sens go.